everyone. I want to share with you a project that I've been working on the past few days. But before I share with you that, I want to show you my very first scrapbook. Um, it's more like a scrap binder. It's a three ring binder as you can see. Um, this is back in 93 when my husband and I first dated. I wanted to save everything in this binder um, from receipts to napkins to movie tickets to concert tickets, letters, you know, everything. And I didn't, you know, have any scrapbooking materials. No, there's no design paper in here, embellishments, no, nothing like that in here. And it's changed so much in these past years. And it's amazing to look back and to see how much my scrapbooking has changed um, from, you know, my materials to my techniques to what I've learned. And it's just very amazing. And, you know, I was 22 when I started this. And I see a lot of you young scrappers out there that start at such a young age. And it's to me, it's very amazing. And you're very talented because I watch a lot of your videos. Um, I had watched you all through Natalie's videos because Natalie is the one that actually got me started into doing YouTube videos. And Natalie was keep on scrapping. Unfortunately, Natalie doesn't do scrapbooking videos anymore. Um, she's kind of drifted from scrapbooking. It's kind of sad for me to even say it because she was so good at what she did and she still does it. Not as much as I wish she would, but I just want to say thank you to all of you that had commented on her videos, all your inspiring words and your emails that you sent to her because I obviously would see it first because I monitored her channel and I just want to say thank you so much. It meant to her, a lot to her and it meant a lot to me. And um, I just wish she would still continue to do videos, but she's kind of drifted and gotten to a different phase. Um, she's, you know, growing up and she's into makeup now and that's her passion. So, um, but I just want to say thank you so much, all of you, really. And back to my book. This is it. This is how it started. So as you can see here, computer laminated that's pretty simple as it was back then and I actually used um, some decorative scissors you could see here so I did actually have one scrapbooking item so that's pretty cool and then so this is what it looks like inside nothing interesting keep in mind this is my very very first I kept the letters that my husband and I written to each other in these plastic inserts and this is going to relate to my project that I'm going to show you in a bit. We even written on napkins to each other as you can see, our napkins and that's how we met, we met at work so during our break we'd write each other a letter and here it is, here's our very first photo of me and him, gosh this was when we were 22 so long ago. We look so young. <laughs> but anyhow, this is on a copied paper, as you can see. You know, it's so high tech now and it's amazing. And here's a picture when he was little and we kept receipts, letters, um, places that we went to. We loved to go to lots of different places. Um, let's see, what, what else is in here? Oh, we went to concerts. Um, San Francisco was our favorite place. We loved to eat here at the Franciscan restaurant. That was our favorite restaurant. Uh, receipts from where we ate, where we went, anywhere. And this is how it started. We both had a Mustang. And that's what drew us to each other because we both have the same passion for the same car. And we don't have it anymore, unfortunately. We had to sell it once we started having our kids. Um, but he does have he does have the Celine though, um, which is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't drive it because I don't know how to drive stick. Um, I need to learn someday because it's a pretty awesome car. And this is some bubble gum. I don't know why I saved the bubble gum. And here's his fortune cookies and pictures cards. We give to each other tons and tons, as you can see, of cards. 
and I saved all of them. And I even kept the Mylar balloon. See, I try to keep everything. So that's pretty much how it all started. And so let me show you my project. I wanted to keep the letters in a kind of a mini book because I didn't want to just keep them in these plastic inserts. Everything else I'm going to pretty much keep the same because that's what makes it original. Um, so let me show you here. This is using seven gypsies. It's an accordion, but um, this one is a little bit different than the other one I made for Regina's um, Christmas gift. This one has pages inside. So let me just show you what I did here. This is using the kit that Kathy had given me. So thank you so much, Kathy. I love the papers. It's a very beautiful kit. And I also incorporated some other embellishments that, that some other ladies had given me. So thank you, ladies. So here the front cover. This is the swivel clasp. And I added a charm um, of a heart. It's a locket. And then over here, this is that beautiful heart. I love this. It's like a little frame. So I placed my flower that I used the starburst stains. And then a prima flower in the center. And then this beautiful feather. And here this says love letters because these are the letters that we've written to each other. Now there's two sides. This side is my side. So these are the letters that i written to him. This side is his side. So these are the letters that he written to me. So what I did was I made a layout right here so I could put some pictures. And thank you so much, Diane. I love your flowers. Very, very beautiful. You can see they're everywhere. And then here, Amy gave this to me. I love this. It's like a bamboo mat. So I just made little layouts so I could place pictures. This one, um, this is an envelope that also came with the kit that Kathy gave. It's actually a concert ticket um, to Boys to Men that my husband took me to. Because, um, you know, every couple has their theme song. And ours were all the songs from Boys to Men. And so I put that in there. And it's funny because sometimes when I'm scrapbooking, I'll play their songs. And my husband will just walk in and he'll just kind of give me this smile and we'll just kind of just stare at each other. It's, it's crazy. We'll just stare at each other and just start smiling. And then my girls will pass by and, and they'll be like, oh my God, here they go again with that stare. But it's just interesting because a song can bring back so much memories and uh, it's pretty cool. So, and then look at this punch. I love this punch. This punch is this. Arlene gave this to me. Isn't that awesome? Thank you so much, R. Now I can see why she loves this punch so much. Because look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. Very, very pretty. So that's that page. And so now what I did to the pages, my side, I glimmer mist them with, of course, with pink and the pearl. And then I edged it with the paint dauber. And then I took my file to die and I made a pocket with two of them. And then inside is our le my letter to him. And then I used my Dyma label maker and I added the date of the letter. Now I did it to every other page only because the second page I want a journal because I love to write. And then I want to put a full 4x6 photo here. And so that's why I did it to every other page. This pocket here it has movie tickets. And here's another one. Oh, it just goes down. And then here's another one. The letters are inside. And then here's the layout. Now on his side, of course, his side is blue. And I glimmer missed it with a patina. And so I actually mixed another collection with this. Normally I don't mix collections. Sometimes I'll do, sometimes I won't. This one I did. Um, this is the Kane Company's. Um, it's a handmade. It's the... Uh, It's the ephemera pack that I used on his stuff to embellish his pages with. And I love this collection. So that's what I did to his pages. And this also Velcro's down too. And then his pages, I he's these are the letters from um, him to me. And then I put the date again. And I did to every other page. And these, some of them I left blank because I want to put a full photo, I mean a photo in there too. And then um, here's another one. These I hand cut from one of the design papers. And here's that punch again. And then here's another one. And then this one, these are movie tickets. These were the longer movie tickets. 
and then this I glitter mist. So if you guys, you know, preserve your, your letters, your movie tickets, concert tickets, whatever, give it a try. It's fun. And it's, you know, really nice to look back at. So thanks everybody for watching. Bye.